quality. We are also doing what you call the invigilation and the test purchase. What I mean by invigilation and test purchase is where we had people sitting in the shops and ask them when you are going out, he checks what you have, um, the, your invoices. And then sometimes we also send people to, uh, as a mystery shopper, to go there and buy. Now, when we did these uh, processes and we compared the data, we had 53 uh, um, entities that we did a VAT invigilation. Out of the results that we had, if you look at the filing in terms of what the entity has filed as a sales for June, which he has also filed for July, he has filed for August, and then you compare with what we found in September, 69% of them, the difference is more than 100%, and some of them go as high as 1,700%. There was somebody who was filing uh, 75,000 Ghana cities um, uh, per month, but when you get to the September, when we went to the shop, it was over 3 million. There, was, there were others who were filing, say, the fact there was one who was filing 19,000, 17,000, and 20,000 for the three months. I we went to the shop, it was 330,000. So it means that these are revenues that are being understated. And what you need to understand is that they are selling to all of us. And they are still selling. So once you buy, you have paid the tax, so to say. But when he files, he files less than what you're supposed to file. And therefore, at the end of the day, Yes, there will be sanctions. So basically, there are two sanctions that we work on. Number one, we use what we have found to be able to tell you that we have, we will estimate that your file that you have been filing is inaccurate. So then we calculate the thing back and then we charge you. That is the way it, it works. But we'll have to engage them one-on-one -on -one and then look at each of you. If you are able to prove that maybe something was amiss, so we'll definitely have to look at it. But where we find out that you have not done the right thing, we we'll have to make sure that we do.